Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general love reading for mid-December to the end of December 2021. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is general, so it won't be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. Alright Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you mid-December. What is the overall energy please for Scorpio? And we have lessons, okay. So maybe things have felt a little bit difficult in a particular connection um, recently, and that is because there have been lessons um, that were meant for probably both of you to learn here. So yeah, I mean, just the mere fact that we're getting this card, I feel like they are being learned. They are being learned, so let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of December. Just had the Five of Swords fall out, so somebody could be feeling a little bit betrayed, maybe. Let's see. Also, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. Alright, so for the situation, we have the King of Wands crossed by the Queen of Cups. Alright, so that would be you. Huh. Somebody has a lot of passion here for you. Um, definitely wanting this connection with you very, very much. I feel like they're having a hard time though fully following their intuition or fully following their feelings. Okay, and I do feel like already that this would be um, the other person here, okay, because I feel like you're showing up as this Queen of Cups. But let's see. For your recent past, we have the Ten of Cups in your current energy, the Five of Pentacles, near future, the Three of Cups. Okay, so pretty simple. It feels like, you know, recently you felt like everything was fine. You felt happy, fulfilled, you know, like everything was going really well. Um, currently, you're feeling maybe a little bit rejected or a little bit abandoned or just alone, lonely. Um, so maybe this person pulled away and coming up though we do have the Three of Cups. Okay, so things are getting better. This could talk about a reconciliation for sure, but it could also just be you feeling um, a lot better right, than, than you're feeling um, currently. So for them, recent past we have the Three of Swords, currently the Three of Pentacles, near future Hmm, the devil and potential outcome here, the tower. Okay, well, definitely lessons, okay? There's definitely lessons showing up and I must say it's mostly on their side, possibly for you as well, but mostly on their side. Um, so they have the three of swords. That's interesting because you're in this 10 of cups energy where you know, you're feeling like everything is fine and then, you know, something happened which was actually painful for them. So this may be what has led to the current situation where you're feeling abandoned. Yeah, we're going to clarify and see what all of this is about. They're currently putting in some effort. They're wanting to make things work. But I do feel like, oh, why do they have to have this double here? Well, it's okay because then we have the tower. And to me, this is actually very, very positive that the tower is following the devil, which is actually the progression also in the tarot because the devil is number 15 and the tower is number 16. It's like the tower comes in to pretty much give an ending to the devil's energy. So that's what I see happening here for this person. They are putting in this effort, but there is something toxic here that they are involved with or... Um, some kind of a habit, maybe an addiction for some of them, or maybe even a fear that is affecting them. However, the, I mean, the good news is that I see you coming out of a funk that you might be in, regardless of this person still holding on to something here. Maybe it's some kind of an attachment. Either way, Tower's coming in, so I feel like that is really going to shake them up and help them to conquer this Devil's energy, whatever that is. So let's clarify.
Let's see the King of Wands with the Queen of Cups. The Six of Swords, the Two of Swords, and then we have the Nine of Wands together with the King of Swords. Yeah, what is going on here? Somebody's definitely avoiding. Um, it's like this person, I feel like they know what they want, right? They have so much passion. They have so much desire for you. It's not even funny. Um, but at the same time, it's like they're putting this block. They're putting this block. They're like, no, 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 let me not go that way. Let me go the other way. Keep, keep some kind of a distance. And it's like, again, they know what they want right, with this King of Swords, but they have the Nine of Wands attached to that. They know what they want, but they're resisting what they want. For whatever reason, and it's going to be different for all of them, it's like they're not fully allowing themselves to take action based on emotions and based on how they feel. Because the feelings are very, very strong. but they're keeping their distance. And it could be that they're dealing with something else that's very challenging in their lives, which might be affecting them. For others of them, it's going to be a fear of something which is showing up um, here in this devil's energy. But let's see, let me clarify quickly that 10 of cups for the recent past for you. We have the page of swords. Yeah, okay, so it felt like there was this, um, Maybe that it was, you know, things were beginning to really come together. You were feeling good about this and where it was heading. So I feel like, yeah, that's pretty much it. You, you were feeling good about this. I feel like there was communication. Maybe you even communicated this to them that you felt this way. Let's see the Three of Swords for them. Because they have some kind of a something here. Yeah, Five of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. All right, so something happened here where it could be that it's just that they pulled away, right? Either that or something else happened to them um, in their lives that was outside of your connection. Whatever the case, um, because I do see this Ace of Pentacles here, so it's like they were feeling the same as you. They were feeling like, yeah, you know, things are coming together, we're moving forward, things are happy. Um, they were seeing the potential in this. For whatever reason, they pulled away, or maybe you did. It doesn't really, it's not clear who pulled away. I'm seeing it more as being them, but it definitely could have been you. Um, but, it's like they were feeling this, it's like all of a sudden they felt this huge responsibility or just really overloaded, almost like they didn't know if they can manage this. And so that's likely why they pulled away or did something to get you to pull away, whoever pulled away. But in either case though, this person was left feeling hurt by their own actions and also feeling regret. Possibly also guilt for some of them, but definitely feeling a sense of loss. Burdened by their own self here, for their own actions. All right, let's see that Five of Pentacles in your current energy. Page of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, okay, so this is part of your lesson. There's definitely something you're learning, and I know it might not it might not feel that way, um, especially when you're like right smack in the middle of feeling abandoned, but there's definitely something in here that your soul is um, learning from or learning through. And it's giving you a deeper insight into your own self. So possibly you're having some revelations about your own self and maybe about how you feel and why you might feel a certain way 
or what exactly it is that makes you sad. Like it's just something very, very deep is what I'm getting here. Like you're, you're discovering truths about your own self and that is part of the lesson you are meant to learn here. And it can only happen through you feeling abandoned. So for some of you, this might go back to childhood wounds, right? That's just the most classic example I can think of, but it can definitely be a lot more. You know, why, for example, for others, it could be, why do I feel this need to have this partner? Or, you know, why do I feel so bad about myself when I don't have them? Because then that would be that trigger to help you work on your own sense of self-worth. There's something in it here for you to learn about yourself. All right, very, very clear, especially with um, Hermit. That's also Virgo energy. Let's see for them. Let's see this Three of Pentacles. I feel like their lesson is actually going to be harder than yours, to be honest. Um, but let's see. Three of Pentacles for them. The Hanged Man, the Temperance card, and the King of Wands. Yeah, see, so they do have that King of Wands showing up again. Like I said, right? They do have that passion. They do have that drive. They do have the desire for this. And so they are putting in effort. They are doing something. They are working on whatever it is that they need to be working on. But, I mean, of course, with the Hanged Man and Temperance, it is taking a little bit of time. It is taking a little bit of time. However, they are finding their inner balance and they are beginning to shift their perspective and the way that they handle things, the way that they view things about themselves, about you, about the connection, about life in general. All right. And especially when it comes to going after what it is that they want, what, what it is that they have passion for, where it is that they feel like they have this calling. So there is work that is happening here for sure. All right. And we also have Sagittarius here. Um, For a small group of you, because I don't feel like this is going to be everybody's situation, okay? So don't, don't take this if it doesn't resonate, but just for some of you, this could definitely be related to a third party here, all right? Especially having the Three of Pentacles together with the Devil. It could be an attachment to a third party, but it doesn't have to be. All right. Let's see what is coming up. Let's see that Three of Cups for you. the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. I also had the Five of Wands pop out at the end here. Okay, yeah, see, so you're moving out of this heartbreak. I feel like you are, you are, there's something here that you are healing, all right, and it's some kind of a heartbreak from the past, but I feel like for you, this is something deeper in your past. It's not, it's not this Five of Pentacles energy that you're going through now. It's something deeper than that. It goes further back. Um, yeah, it's like you're able to heal that and come out of this funk that you might be feeling right now. And that's because you're learning that lesson. You're learning that lesson and taking a new path when it comes to your own self. And I feel like that's actually moving you towards a lot of stability, even if, you know, you do have some ups and downs. Even if there is a little bit of um, conflict within you, you're still moving towards that stability and basically things just feeling lighter, you feeling lighter, you feeling like you can enjoy life, yourself, even this connection. Because I'm not, for some of you, it could totally be like a very definite separation, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's not. So I feel like for some of you, you might still have some kind of contact with this person and, you know, just allowing it to be what it is, you know, allowing this connection to have its ups and downs, allowing this person to have their ups and downs as long as they're treating you with respect, all right? And you're just finding your own stability and learning lessons, allowing yourself to learn lessons through this without ever compromising your integrity, though. That's what this is feeling like to me. So let's see the devil for them. All right, the 
Nine of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so for some of you, it's definitely a third party here. For some of you, all right? And it does feel like this person, they're still, I mean, they're putting in the effort. It is taking a little bit of time, um, but it's still not 100% resolved just yet. I do see them moving towards more stability for them as well, just like you're moving towards more stability, they're moving towards more stability. But, yeah, and for others of them, it can totally be an addiction as well. I see it still being present, okay? Um, at least during this time period, and this reading is only meant to be for about two weeks, okay, give or take, because time is fluid. But yeah, that's why we have that tower, right? We do have that tower, so let's clarify that. Yeah, look at this. The Seven of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the freaking Ace of Cups. And you know what I love about this reading? I love that, you know, even though things do feel difficult, okay, so I'm not underestimating that. I understand this is a very, very difficult situation from the looks of it. Um, and I can just, I can feel it. But I love that we have both the King and the Queen of Wands out on the table. And we also have both the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups out on the table as well. And we actually have the King of Wands twice. Yeah, okay, so for the tower, this tower is coming in basically. So whatever it is that this person is engaging in, whether it's um, an addiction or a third party or fear that they are giving into or just some other kind of guilty pleasure, I don't know what this could be. Um, that tower is, is coming up for them. And I feel like it could be related to you also having learned your lessons because when you learn your lessons, you give out a different vibe. You give out a different kind of an energy. And that is ultimately going to affect the energy also of the person that you are dealing with, right? Or that you are connected to. And that is going to affect them and it's going to affect the actions that they take or decisions that they make or just their attitude or perception, even on an energetic level. Like you can't even know that that's happening, but it does, and then it does manifest in the 3D as well. So that is what I see here happening. And so this tower, right, it's leading to steps being taken for movement towards love, King of Cups and the Ace of Cups, um, for them to open up to those emotions, have that emotional maturity, emotional realizations and actually follow through with them like not just as the queen of cups where it's intuitive and you know understanding the emotions no here it's actually taking action based off of those emotions and following love taking steps basically for love but that tower has to happen first and it is a coming all right, Scorpio. And I feel like that's going to be the biggest lesson. Whatever that is, it's going to be the biggest lesson for this person, especially. If this resonated, Scorpio, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see your final message. All right, and we have back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. So yeah, definitely feels like that is pertaining to the other person. It can definitely also be a message for you, so take it if it makes sense. And that is it. I thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. Much love.